Got him. I got one. Oh, how big he is, though, Scoot. <laughs> right under the boat. There, huh? Yeah, right under the boat. <laughs> Looky there, son. Not a bad fish. Little drop shot bass. There goes my worm. He spit my worm out. Look at <laughs> there. Not a giant bass, but a fun Saguaro Lake bass. Folks, today we're at Saguaro Lake with my good buddy, Scooter Griffin. And I'll tell you what, with the Arizona Fishing Guides, let me tell you something. This guy knows this lake. Yesterday we decided, hey, we're going to go to Saguaro Lake. And I just happened to text him and go, hey, Scooter, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> he says, well, I guess I'm going fishing with you. <laughs> that works out good. I love that part. Those are hey, the good texts. Anytime to get. I can get the local guide to put us on fish, I'm in. You know what I mean? And he knows this water. And you got a lot on this, this lake. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot. a lot. I spend a lot of time here. Even if I'm not guiding, I'm, I'm here practicing and... You know, it's close just to home. Like, yeah, it's nice. Man, I so. wish I had a fishery like this close to my house. I got a lot of fisheries around me, but nothing like this lake. <laughs> but uh, today we're drop shotting, and uh, we threw cranks a few minutes. Just wasn't quite happening. I think they're just now starting to push this water because we're yeah. starting to move a little bit. When that water starts moving, that could make a difference, right? Yeah, that, that's usually the deal. Uh, even when we got to the lake today, I walked down the ramp, and all the water's all the way out. So the first thing I thought was, well, We'll see what happens. You know, we need to make it work. And like, you know, like Darren always says, the cameraman's here. So, you know, it makes fishing tough. But it we'll does. See. It does. But we're going to catch him. We're going to catch him. We just caught one on a drop shot with a brand new bait out on the market. Arizona Custom Baits. Yeah. Uh, good partner of the show now. And I'm excited about it because, man, this guy makes some great worms. And huh? a lot of them. I was and just at his house them. the other night. And, oh, my gosh, like, we produce so many, fish, so many uh, worms at once. It's crazy. That guy has molds after molds after molds. Oh, it's awesome. He just injects them, and it's fast. Well, we're so. really excited about fishing them today. I think I caught mine on a light ox blood color, and uh, I don't know what color you're throwing, a blue I'm, shad yeah, or something? I'm throwing a, the natural blue shiner. There you go. So it's a good one, too, look at the, especially look at the, here. Look at how you know? beautiful that worm is. It's I show just, that a lot here. Wow, that is just a, a really neat color. I managed to catch that fish watching the graph. Like Scooter said, watch the graph. We might have to catch him underneath the boat. And I just happened to go over a fish. I'm like, ah, let's try it. Boom, set it down there. Now, a lot of times when you're fishing underneath the graph like that, you let your, your bait go all the way to the bottom and give it slack. And if you pull up and it feels the least bit heavy, you just set the hook and there he is. So it's <laughs> a lot of fun. Usually they eat it right there on the spot and you I get to watch it. him. It's like video game playing. But we're going to try this a little bit. We're in the mouth here getting ready to head back towards the no-wake buoys, but uh, we'll see what we can do, catch some fish. It's huh? gonna be fun. It might be a little warm, but it's gonna be fun today. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, warm. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that's a good fish. That is a good fish, son. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, son. <laughs> Those are the kind that I'm gonna land for you. <laughs> Get him, Scoot. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ate it. He did. It. Tell me oh, they don't God. like that bait. Tell me they don't like that bait. <laughs> he got him. He this got, is a good thing. I love that. Yeah. Can you get it? Yeah. I felt There's that a bite. He, th sticking down there. he thumped it. Folks, that's what I'm talking about right there. When the fishing is a little bit tough, if you get out in the morning and you throw some reaction and it's not happening, don't be afraid to go to this bait and or this technique and catch some fish. Now this bait, now this bait, it's hard to see on camera. It's got little red flake in it as well. And uh, that that's just a light colored oxblood worm. And I'll, I'm stealing them from Scooter actually because <laughs> I didn't have any of these particular colors. But uh, what a bait that is, huh? I love that bait. That's not a little guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, Scoot. Not Look as at good that. As we thought it was gonna be, but <laughs> hey, it's a fish, baby. Look at that. I just had a bite through there too, I huh? I got your fish. I know. <laughs> I think so. Come on now. Uh, I'm hey. going in. <laughs> There's. Oh, hold on, let me get him for you. <laughs> good fish, huh? No. Is that a good one? Oh, there yeah, you go. Oh, son, we're finally in the zone. We're in the zone. Yeah, we're, we're definitely right here, huh? Just bring him to me. <laughs> <laughs> Catch my fish. 
Oh, you got him hooked pretty good. I don't think he's going anywhere. Well, of course I do. <laughs> you got him hooked pretty good. Oh! <laughs> That's a good one. A little chunky there, huh? That is a good fish, man. Look at that. See, I don't release your fish like you release mine. I'll let you touch <laughs> your fish. That's awesome, dude. Nice, that's the right? deal these drop shot huh yeah nice little fish right there i mean it's just a school of them i mean yeah, that's well, like our fourth bite right there yeah it is yeah it's we're right around this rock pile or whatever you got going on i can feel it i can feel the bait dragging down there you know we're catching these fish and what do you say about 15 13 yeah. foot of water somewhere in there so they're they're not real deep these ones aren't anyway yeah i think it's just the current i think the current's pushing them through here and they're sitting the behind these rocks or, us, isn't it? You know, we got some wind and the current too, so Nothing maybe that's the that. deal. There you go. There you go, son. Good one. Nope. Hey, not a bad fish. Scooter. All right. Oh, Another drop my... shot bass. He took my worm. That's because they're soft. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they bite it so good. Right? Yeah. Need help? Nope. I got him right here. You sure? Yep. He's a little guy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He ain't a giant, but he's still a good fish. <laughs> he looks healthy. Yeah, I mean, look at that. This place is just going look, so good right now. The crawdads or mouths are all orange, yeah. turning orange. Well, the one fish that you caught earlier had its tentacle sticking out. But ah. I didn't want to say anything, so that's why I let it go ah, earlier. I see. <laughs> I see. Secrets. <laughs> Yeah, he's got his secrets on this. Don't don't fool <laughs> Scooter. I caught the first couple of fish off the bat this morning, but now he's now he's pouring it on. <laughs> he knows where to cast. He knows where every little piece of wood on this lake is, or little brush pile. I'm watching him, watching him like a hawk. Because I'll tell you this much. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I got it loose. I'll mark it on my graph. Yeah. Yeah, then it I'll seems to me like there's a lot more GPS points for the last time we went fishing. <laughs> Every time we take Scooter, I'll, beep, I'll hit that, I'll hit that waypoint. <laughs> there's one. Uh-oh. There's one. Uh-oh. There's one. That <laughs> might be a better one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bad. That's what I'm talking about, son. I have to That's break what my I'm line. talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> Let's see if we can get this one in. This oh, is your fish, so I'm going to try not to let it go. Yeah, try not to let this one go. Maybe you ought to just move out the way, I'll yeah. get it. <laughs> oh, I might have on. a fray in that line. Come, come on. Close. There it is. 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 Yeah. There it is. <laughs> He's got, he did you get you all wet? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that. He did oh. barely come out. Yeah. Nice That's a good one there. That's a good fish right there. Thank you, Scooter. Look at that. Two minutes after he catches his fish. Yeah. yeah. It's like another school here. Yeah, I like it. It's like it a lot. Pose, I'll tell you color. what, that's a beautiful. I got, I got you got you. it? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah that's a, a beautiful look at fish. fish here. Yeah, get a better look right there. <laughs> what do you think? Three pounds? Yeah, every bit. Yeah. Every bit of that, nice. huh? Look how colorful they are, too. I love you know? it, man. Look at that fish. Just so beautiful. All right. Well, they're healthy. It's a healthy-looking yeah. fish. All right, buddy. We'll watch him go. Watch this. I'll just kind of set him there and see what happens. Boom. Nice. And there he goes. <laughs> man, you keep catching the big one. I catch a little one, you catch a big one. Well, I it is my one. show. I know. <laughs> I, I just didn't think that the fish knew that. Hey, you know what? Apparently, they do. I'll, I'll, I'll give you this. He's a great guide, folks. <laughs> what a great guide. Taking us to all his good spots that I get the GPS. And, uh, you bring know. in custom baits. Yeah, bring in Arizona custom yeah, baits bring for us. some baits. <laughs> I love it. I got to have another one of them worms. Nice. Scooter, what do you think these fish are doing? I mean, we, we went out, we fished some rock. They're hanging out around rock a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to show you some stuff later that I think that we'll catch them again. They're on the edge of the grass as well. Okay. So, you know, as the fall comes on, they're going to start wanting to really be into that grass. That's where you're punching and, mm -hmm. you know, top water over the grass and stuff like that. That's going, that's going to really come into play. But right now, they're just out on the edge of it. They're still coming up from that deeper stuff. We just had a good full moon. Yes. So I think that's why there's some fish that are up shallow still. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Awesome. Know? Awesome. Well, that's what I think they're doing. 
All right. Man. Well, I mean, and the water is, you said the water's moving a little bit, and it seemed like when they got that water moving a little bit, we're getting bites. So Yeah, yeah for sure. I think that makes a difference. Oh, yeah, you got a good one now. Nope. Got a good one? Mm, oh, yeah, bad. that's a good one, son. <laughs> that's a good one. Hold on to him. <laughs> I'm coming. We'll take it easy. What pound test line are you throwing? Uh, eight. Oh, wow, I use six. I guess you could use eight in here. Yeah, I mean, here, I think. Oh, you're gonna have to bring him up. I think you can get away with a little heavier here just because of the color of the water. But you just came from mead, so you have to have six. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, nice. I thought he was bigger than yeah. that, but that's still a good fish right that's there. That's a solid one. That's a solid fish. And there's fish down there. He's hooked really good, too. Yeah, nice. look at him. Good fish. That's a pretty fish. On the blue shiner. On the na uh, natural, natural blue shiner. Natural blue shad, I think Oh, it's natural called. blue <laughs> shad. That's what it is. I'll get used to those names. Yeah. He has a lot of cool colors, you know. We came up with our own color. We came up with AFG Guild. I think it's awesome. And man. Scooter Special. Now tell everybody what the AFG Guild is. Yeah, so the AFG Guild color is uh, just like a green pumpkin type color with a chartreuse tail. Uh, the AFG Force is the Chatterbait trailer that we just came up with. So he had it uh, a bulb made for it, and man, it's perfect. Oh, man. Good one? Ah, oh, not bad. Really? Yeah. All right. It's not a three pounder, but it's. <laughs> but it's a two, you need some yeah. help? No, no, I got it. You sure? I want you to cast in there. Where? Right up against that wall, because I think that's where they're going to school up at, right there. All right, I'll cast out there. I'll get Bring him, him in. <laughs> Figures, I break off my uh, deal and he catches my fish. Look at that, nice fish though, it's a two pounder. Oh, come on, go do that. <laughs> All right, Scooter. Nice. You know, we, we went and did some top water and did a few more other things and it just wasn't panning out. Uh, so here we are. Yeah, we went to the walls. Yeah. Yeah. So the walls is the place to go, huh? Yeah. I mean, a lot of times, like I said, I think when you I think like, after yeah, they move that current yeah. and they kind of slow it down, I think that they suspend up and down it. And, and one of the fastest ways is just to throw a drop shot up against it. But you get throw a drop shot, a Texas rig, yes. a Senko. You know, there's so many things that you could throw. A shaky head. Oh yeah. You could oh, throw yeah. up against the wall and, and let it something go different down, there. So. You bet. Did you catch him on your blue yeah. again? I caught him on the... Well, that blue's doing well right now. Yeah, right? Look at that color. <laughs> That's the color right there. That's theirs on the custom baits. That is very, very cool looking color. <laughs> it's got that shad look to it, you know, yeah, on the top. Yeah, why is it like that blue? I don't you like know that. You like, why yeah. do they eat the pinks and why do they eat blues? Yep. That's a fish, my friend. That is a fish. It's got to be a good one. <laughs> oh my goodness, I knew with all them shad down there, there had to be a big fish. That looks like a nice one. First I thought I was caught on that rock because I had just brought it over a rock. I'm like, oh, I'm still caught on it, but he hit it as soon as it came over that rock. Oh yeah, there you go, son. Oh yeah, splash scooter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, splash scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess my bait's still not done. No. It's catching big fish. <laughs> it's catching the bigger ones, that's for sure. Yeah, a little mark on his belly there. Yeah, he does. That's where them, them, <laughs> them birds tried to get him. That's a great looking fish, too. He's that starting is. to get that yellow, like he's up shallow. He's healthy. A lot more, well, you know? when they're that black, man, they're definitely, uh, they're definitely up shallower, for sure. We're out here fishing. Got a little cloud cover starting to come up on us. But one thing that's really important to remember when you're drop shotting, or even when you're Texas rigging, uh, or even Carolina rigging, is anytime you're pulling your bait across and you get, you bring it up on a rock or something that you're, a snag, let's just say a snag, and you can get that thing loose and shake it loose, don't automatically assume that everything's off. If, if, you, if you still feel everything on there, let it fall because those bass are gonna hang around yeah. that area. A lot of times if you pull it over a rock, it might be on the other side where you got it loose and your bait drops right in front of him and he hits it. So always give it a chance to fall back down if you can pull it loose. And I've caught so many fish coming over a big rock or something and I've had to shake it loose and pop it loose and then it comes right over and boom, they hit it. So that's really important to remember when you're doing any kind of worming or anything like that. Because that's where those bass hang out. Good one? No, I think it's a little one. Oh, nice. Scooter's got one. Right out here on the edge of the grass, just like you said, brother. 
Good job. Yeah, look at that. Here, I'll help you. We gotta show that fish. We gotta show that fish. Oh, oh that's not a bad fish, son. Wait, wait. wait. Get, to get there a little closer. There you go. There, there you <laughs> get go. Out <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, see, that's karma. <laughs> I made him splash you and he let go. He told me he had a fish on. He was snagging the weeds. <laughs> The jumping weed. I didn't, I didn't see nothing, did you? <laughs> no, because your, your glasses are filled with water. <laughs> Folks, today we've been catching fish on both these colors of worms from Arizona Custom Baits. And I wanted to show the package so you know when you go get them, this is the, what the package looks like, yeah. right? So we're going to do a little bit different labeling, but it's still going to be this exact same thing. It's okay. going to have these colors. Uh, that's coming soon, but it's going to sure. be the same. Yeah. But that's the color. That's light oxblood. Red flake is what I'm throwing. Yeah. And this one is, I think, the natural blue shiner. Okay. So at Saguaro Lake, yeah. we're catching more fish than we're going to be able to show you on television <laughs> yeah. today. So I just want to let you know that, that these baits are working really well. It's an Arizona bait. Get into the stores. Get these baits because these are awesome. And yeah. they're really soft. Yeah, yeah, go online or, yep. or in the, I know that they're at the hookup, I think, and there are a couple other places, okay. but yeah, online is probably the best way. It's quick and easy, and just send him an email, he'll get them right to you. All right, that's, <laughs> that right there is the bait. Don't that's my miss bait. it. That's my bait. <laughs> miss my bait. <laughs> You got him. Oh, that's a better fish too. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna make me close the show on his fish. Look at this, folks. <laughs> that's a three pounder, isn't it? It might be. He got a little stronger there. Look at that. Look at that, Scooter. Oh, he's not that big. But he's, huh? I can feel his teeth grinding on it. Can you? Yeah. His on teeth line. grinding on it. On my line. See that? See where the hook is? Awesome. Oh, Get him. Don't you lose him. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Great job. Nice. You see, folks, that's why you bring out a guide and, and uh, get around and catch some of those fish. They're good and healthy. We're out here towards the main lake, and uh, we caught some nice fish. Scooter, I've had a great time throwing some drop shots, something I really love doing. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's it's one of those techniques, in my opinion, in Arizona, you better learn how to throw. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, that's for sure. Well, if you come out with us, you're going to learn how to throw it most of the time because we definitely do it a lot. Sure. So. Well, he's, he's definitely good at it as well. Scooter, thank you so much for having for coming on the show, having yeah. us on your show. <laughs> <laughs> it is my no, show now. Yeah, yeah, it's your show. <laughs> Anyways, no, we've had a great time. And remember, the Arizona Fishing Guides, get them on Facebook, right? Yeah, yeah, Facebook, yeah, Facebook Instagram, uh, both, you know what I mean? So right. 480-772-8460, that's our phone number. Give us a call. All right, mm -hmm. man. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun, and you'll have a good time out here at Saguaro Lake. Till next week, we'll see you on the water. I'm Johnny Johnson. <laughs> now, see, that's what I'm talking about, folks. <laughs>